Hello YouTube, my name is Woodsy and today we're back in uh, the Crooked Man and today we're gonna, well only a few books here way of modern family, family medicine, we're gonna end the Crooked Man's life. No, not really, probably not going, we're probably just gonna get attacked again. Oh, well isn't this ominous? There's something on the desk, it's a key to the counseling room. Well, that's the exact key I was looking for. Isn't that a coincidence? And the counseling room is in the basement, right? Because that's not creepy. Medicine room. That seems... That seems almost as creepy. Like, it's... it's No, it's not the doctor's office. It's the medicine room. Men's bathroom lock is busted. Man, I, I feel bad for the staff of this place. The, uh... Their entire... What's it called? It was... Yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. Um, Okay. Nothing in the cabinets. Well, isn't that a surprise? Hey, look. I wonder. Oh. It's the exact same thing. Emergency stairs. The keel's painted over. I'm sure we'll have to, like, go to it eventually. Uh, going up the stairs, I guess. We're going to be... We're looking, apparently, for the counseling room. Bathroom? Where'd you look at that? It's the first frickin' bathroom we've been able to go into. The hell is that? Wall slightly damaged, there's fragments of concrete on the ground. If only I had a hammer. Yeah, just bust into the chick's bathroom, dude. Don't be weird. Um, mm -hmm. Bloody key and the counseling room key. I still have no idea what the bloody key does. But we're not going to worry about that. Is that a fetus? I think that's a fetus. Oh, model of an embryo. Okay. That's, um... That's cool. I understand. I mean, it, it's in the hospital, so, of course... Okay, stop that. Every time I pause, I think it's because... It's, it's stopping me from moving for a second. So I think that, like, an event's gonna happen or something. Doors painted over... Isn't that... Isn't that surprising? An examination table. An examination of what? Oh, like it's it's an X-ray machine. Don't worry about it. Um, today we're going in here. No. Three-digit code. It leads to emergency stairs. Today we're not going in there. Today we're going straight up. Hmm, I wonder what that is. Probably a page of the missing puzzle. Or page of the diary. Found a scrap from notebook. My mother told me I was born here. She called it a place of happiness, but for me it's a place of regret. I wish I could kill my child self back then I was pure when I still thought everyone loved me. That's one of the most depressing things I've ever read. Jeez, buddy, like... Calm down. It will get better. I hope. Well... Probably not for your sake, because it seems like, uh, you're dead. Okay, wait. Counseling room. Okay, I have to start reading these now. Ophthalmology. Maternity and gynecology. Dermatology. I like that second one. Uh, pediatrics. Surgical department. ENT. I don't know what ENT is. ENT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That has nothing to do with it. Emergency Patient Transport. Okay. Uh, the only thing I could think of then is... I mean, counseling room. It has to be something in here, right? Cafeteria? It's... That's my best bet. That's what I gotta say, like, hmm, day room, day wall tour, fun channel, too bad they kind of just died off, uh, 302, how about this one then, possibly, counseling room, ah, unlock the door, hi, how are you?
I guess saw a shadow. It's my imagination. Nah, you're not freaking out, man. There was a shadow there. I'm freaking out because there was a shadow there. Tape 15, subject visitor A, guarantor for relative in room 413. A visited, A visited after a sudden change in patient's condition. Patient was hospitalized upon identified brain illness. Surgery deemed necessary due to declining health. The patient tortures A daily due to still thinking herself healthy. Her memories of A are also vague. A, A sought counseling on how to cope. Patient misunderstands as A abandoning her. She cries and screams, her mind unstable. Counseling will likely continue for both. Visitor A. A. A visited after the patient's death. He lamented that given she was going to die, he couldn't watch over her at home. He stated that living in itself is not happy, so, it, so if life is agony, then wanting death is unavoidable. Should I refuse him as a doctor or tolerate as a person of dignity? I wish he would come back here, but unfortunately I can't force him. I wonder if this kind of thing happens a lot. Got a key to the psychiatry. I would think so. Like, I know that eugenics is generally frowned upon in America, but, I mean, I'm from America, I can't really say anything else. I can't, you know. I think, like, from from what I got from that, it was to an elderly couple, one's been losing her memory slowly, and the other one just doesn't want to live without their partner. I could understand that if there really is nothing else to live for, especially, like, you don't have kids, or, like, they're all, like, dead... That's not that's not really good to say, but I mean, especially if it's something like that, or if um, that was the medicine room, right? Yeah. Or if um, like in your if you're in constant agony too, like if you're old, you got like arthritis and uh, osteoporosis and a bunch of other crazy and a bunch of other stuff that, and you just don't want to deal with it anymore. I'm in favor of eugenics. I, you know, if it's if the only thing that's going to hurt. If, if the, if, okay, if staying alive is hurting them worse than killing them, then I think it's entirely, I think it's okay, personally. That's just me, that's just me, like, that's just me rambling about topics that, that's cool, someone's being hung. You know, topics that a lot of people are really touchy about. Bed, trash, board. Two, second floor, third floor, fourth floor, I'm thinking. That's, I'm just thinking like the three rooms that were identical each time. Um, yeah. Here at Witsy's channel, we talk about the hard-hitting things. So societal problems. John Smith is dead. He hung himself. I was no help at all, it seems. I took a look at the note under his feet, and it said this. It's chasing me no matter where I go. I can't ever escape, so I decided to die. But I realized it's grinning. It, in fact, it's grinning behind me right now. It's been waiting for me to do this. This is what it was chasing me for, but now I'll be free from it. Doctor, please take care. It might turn to follow you next. There's no point in running because it's always at someone's back. Goodbye. Thank you for everything, Doctor. You were the only one who had sympathy. I was going to say, like, if I turned around and all of a sudden he was there, I was going to kill something. What floor are we on? Four. So we'll go... I don't know if it needs to be... Bed, trash, board? Is that what it was? A board. Okay. <laughs> I like the description of that. A board. There's a number on the board. Six. Number six. Six. Six, six. Number of the beast. Right? Yeah. Yeah. The third one is in the top floor, uh, top room, and it was trash. Hey, and I guessed it right. I don't know, it just seems kind of sketchy, like, all three of these rooms are the exact same. Cluttered with rubber gloves. And needles, right? No. Nothing on the floor beneath. Turn over. Yeah, I guess throw trash on the ground. There's something on the bottom. One. So we're at 6-1, but seeing as that was backwards, it's at 1-6. So the next number will determine it. Um, but yeah. And if you feel differently about that, let me know in the comments. I'm all for healthy debate. If you yell, I'm not going to listen to you. Sorry. But, okay, I will listen to you if you yell at me. But, 
716. But I, 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 re okay. I respect anyone's opinion until they don't give me that respect. Yes, until they don't give me the respect I give them. Then I respect the hell out of you. Glad that we had this talk. Um, what was it? Oh, was it the third floor then? Or was it the first floor? I don't remember. 716. Sweet. I'm saving before I go up there. That's for damn sure. Large wire holds the handle tight. Not even pliers could cut this. Not that I have any of those. What can I do about this? Use the... I don't know. I got nothing, man. Huge pile of sandbags? What? Huh? What? I don't know. Hmm. Where else haven't I been? There you are, Fluffy. There you are, Fluffy. Don't... Don't you know not to wander off alone? Laddie. I can handle the dark fine. I told you I'm a big boy. I'm not going to cry like some baby. You do sure seem brave, Fluffy. I have to admire that. Really? <laughs> yeah, you're as brave as Captain America. I'm kind of scared walking in the dark, but here I am looking for someone. If only there was someone here to depend on. Just my luck. Okay, I'll go with you, Mr. David. Really? What a relief, thanks. I feel so much safer with you, Fluffy. I'll protect you, Mr. David. Stick together until Mother show up. If it's if he does if she doesn't, to the sheriff's office office she goes. Well, that's cool. We got Fluffy in our party. What the hell are we supposed to do with them though? Hmm. I don't know. Beats the H out of me. Um where's rooms I've been to? Yeah, I I know. And we have none yet. We we don't have any of the pieces. Where in the hell do you get the pieces then? In here? No. In here. Cabinet's locked. Use the bloody key on it, man. <laughs> that worked. That was helpful. Trash can's empty. Well, okay. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. You creepy son. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a crooked little house. There was a crooked man. Huh? Yeah, mama taught it to me. I like to sing, so I sing lots, and I like that song. I see. What is it, mister? Actually, there's a kid, too, but I didn't like it very much. Why not? It just felt like a sad song to me. The guy's been crooked his whole life, and all he's got around him is crooked stuff. I was scared to think, what if I was a crooked man? Only when I was a kid, of course. I don't get it, mister. Sorry for singing a sad song. Nah, it just reminded me of that. You're a good singer, Fluffy. Do you sing to your mama? Yeah, mama likes to sing, too. It's fun to sing with her. Do you sing, too, David? No, I'm not good. You're better off hearing me not try. Way to go. Once again, dashing the kids' hopes and dreams. Man, you can't be negative when you have a kid around. You gotta be positive. They are the future. You must teach them things. Like, how to skin a catfish. Uh, yeah, so, let's see, where are we at now? Uh, stethoscope. Thing doctor, uh, it's kind of dirty. You probably shouldn't. In various, what's this stuff? I don't really know, kid. Funny story, kid. I, I don't know. I'm not a... I measured myself the other day. I'm up to three feet. What about you? Think I'm around six feet. That's like what? 1.2 meters, maybe? Two meters? I... Shit, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm American. We don't use those new systems. We use outdated systems that the British gave us in the 14 or 1500s. 
electroencephalogram. No, electrocardiogram monitor. Where is the keyholes painted over? Okay, so it's number three. I like how the kid just like kind of runs and flaps his arms. That's pretty cool. Like, dope, de dope, de dope, de dope, de dope. Kid's pretty cool, not gonna lie. Cooler than me, that's for sure. Yo, kid, help me. Okay. Then don't help me. See if I care. It's blocked, so you can't get out. Huge pile of sandbags. Well, of course so. I'm trying to think, like, where else are there things to do? Ah, uh, maybe back in the other rooms? I mean, I did have to back direct to that counseling room, so it's possible. Not very probable, but it's possible. Well, I got Fluffy in my party, man. That's cool. That's all I need. Man, I got this cool kid. I don't need nothing else. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Give the kid some soda, maybe. Kid, you want some soda? Something in here. Got an LP. Really? Wait, really? Um, shit. I wasn't even thinking of, like, looking in this part of the building. It's cool to know. Actually, with that, I think we're going to end it. So, we made some more progress. We found Fluffy again, which is cool. Um, anyways, so if you liked the video, don't forget to like the video. Subscribe if you'd like to see me wandering around more abandoned buildings with little kids in a non-creepy fashion. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.